This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 24th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And before I forget it, there's a quick look at a graphic that shows the Storm Alert Tour this year. We're going to be making eight stops on Tuesdays and Thursdays in February. And most of these are uh, in and around central Alabama. So be sure to stop by one of those. We'll have more specifics on them as we get closer. There's a look at the surface map and the, the uh, surface low that brought us some clouds and rain for the last uh, 36 hours or so is moving up the uh, mid-Atlantic states and creating a bit of a mess for them up there. We'll, in the upper atmosphere, we have a nice uh, cold trough that is moving through the eastern half of the country, and that is bringing in a, uh, some colder air that's going to keep us on chilly side today with highs only in the upper 40s. You can see the uh, northerly wind across much of uh, north and central Alabama and temperatures this morning generally in the 30s. We did have a little bit of uh, very light snow across uh, the northeastern counties uh, in the extreme northern counties of uh, central Alabama, but uh, no serious problems or issues uh, developed. There's a look at uh, the radar composite for the southeastern U.S., and you can see much of the precipitation has moved off. But as I mentioned, that low is creating a bit of a, a mess for the people in the mid-Atlantic states and up into New England. Uh, all those uh, purple and uh, pinkish areas are winter weather advisories, warnings, and whatever. QPF-wise, uh, the, the QPF chart tells us we're not going to have any precipitation for the next five days. Looks like we're going to stay dry. May see a few clouds here and there, but uh, we're going to be essentially dry. And the Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any uh, severe weather risk areas for day one and no thunderstorms for day two or three. All right, here's the 060 GFS model run this morning, and uh, there goes the surface low up uh, past uh, New York City and heading uh, up past Boston. And in the upper atmosphere, uh, a, uh, by Sunday, a second trough is coming through. That's why we're going to turn a little cool on Monday once again. And uh, that one should come through essentially dry for us. We may see a few clouds with it, uh, but uh, surface low uh, uh, going through uh, Illinois and uh, Indiana on Sunday. That trough digs uh, pretty deep, and so Monday is going to be somewhat of a coolish day. Uh, another one of those days where I, I doubt that we'll see temperatures uh, get much above about 48 to 50 degrees or so. But it will be uh, essentially dry, maybe a, a sprinkle or two, but in a few clouds, but not enough to really be worried about. The overall pattern uh, stays with that trough in the eastern part of the country on Tuesday, and so we begin to see uh, kind of a slight warming trend there. Uh, not rapid by any means, but it should warm up nicely. The flow becomes uh, much more zonal across the central plains and in the southeastern U.S. on Wednesday. And so once again, using the 540 line as a demarcation, you can see that uh, the colder air off uh, well to our northeast and to our north. By Thursday... Uh, our pattern has uh, uh, the amplification of the pattern. Uh, it, the pattern has de-amplified, excuse me, and uh, we're still seeing some troughs move through the flow as we see one there in the vicinity of Chicago. But with uh, not much moisture to return, uh, the, the weather systems are staying dry. By Friday... Uh, the pattern uh, is shaping up for another cold shot coming into the northwestern United States, and we see that one dive in on Saturday, the 31st of January. So uh, it looks like we should be fairly mild for next weekend, but that uh, system creating some problems for us probably by Sunday, uh, maybe even late Saturday. Uh, but you know how it is with timing. Uh, we're verging out into voodoo country, so the timing of that uh, may change a little bit. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, we see that main trough come through on Sunday, and uh, so that should give us a, a wet day and also a coolish day, and there's some potential for some winter weather issues for the southeastern U.S. with this system, but we're edging into voodoo country, so there's no point in really uh, discussing much in the way of specifics because we can't. Uh, looking further out, the 4th of February, Wednesday, we see the flow has gone zonal across uh, nearly all of the southern tier of the United States. And then we get out to uh, the end of the period at 372 hours, the 8th of February. And we do see a, a nice little uh, short wave coming through the eastern half of the country that could produce some additional precipitation for us as we head into the early part of February.
Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for uh, this morning. Again, remind you about the Storm Alert Tour coming up, and uh, be sure to check out one of the, those locations. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day, and Godspeed.